Ever since the advent of British imperialism, Māori have been marginalised from power and dis with disempowerment came the alienation of land, uh, resources, loss of language uh, and loss of many cultural uh, customs uh, as a consequence of colonisation. And in recent years there's been a cultural revival and the debate has now quickened as a consequence of the treaty settlements. If you go to an uh, exhibition of Lindau and Golding paintings of Rangatira, you will see the nobility of the Rangatira who were the sovereigns of this soil. And if you were to go to another exhibition, a photographic exhibition of the gangs, you will see the end product of colonialism writ large in the faces of those gangs. Many of those people are descended from the lineages of important uh, ancestors. Now, that is the, the damage that has to be repaired, the disempowerment, the impoverishment. In pre-European Māori society, no one hungered. There was no such thing as poor people. In fact, Māori did not have a word for poverty because their economy uh, in the production of goods and services was a redistributive economy, which the colonizer characterized as communist. But in capitalism, we have an accumulative uh, economy of wealth, uh, which is concentrated in fewer and fewer hands. Now that creates impoverished poor people. Now, Māori were the impoverished people of the capitalist system introduced by the British. And they started to think of themselves as poor fellows. And when they translated poor fella into, into Māori, it became pōhara. So that was a new word created to describe uh, impoverished people as a consequence of colonialism. Uh, today, under the capitalist system, uh, thousands and thousands of children go to school hungry. Now, that is an, a, a problem that the capitalist system has not solved. Capitalism creates poverty, where Māori are struggling to maintain the integrity of their own uh, sovereignty, language and culture, uh, and uh, the coloniser is imposing and unilaterally uh, ruling the country. The British, when they came here, they recognised Māori were the sovereigns of the soil. But they thought that their empire, their civilization, was so superior and so good that they could persuade the chiefs to cede their sovereignty to the British for the benefits of civilization. Now the problem is they didn't explain the other aspects of kawanatanga. Uh, they only um, put in front of them the good outcomes, such as the building of hospitals, roads, churches, townships, and an increase in trade and an increase in the value of their land. So these were the, only the positive aspects of government put forward to the rangatira, which induced them to sign uh, the treaty and allow the governor to set foot on this land. But the negative aspects were never explained, that Māori language and culture uh, would be um, kept out of the schools, uh, that the drive of the governor was for assimilation and that Māori would be turned into brown white men. That was never explained. And the Crown claimed that it had got sovereignty under the English version of the treaty, which the chiefs never signed. They signed the Māori version, which ceded governance, not sovereignty. Now that's a fine point, but it's also a moral point 
And that's the, where the debate is in the future. <clears throat> I think in the main, Māori have come to terms with governance uh, and some of the good transformations that occurred in recent years is an increase of Māori in Parliament. I understand there's 26 people of Māori uh, ethnicity in Parliament at the moment, whereas under the colonial regime, only four seats were allowed for Māori. But nowadays, Māori are standing in general seats and uh, increasing Māori representation. And the input of Māori philosophy, Māori values into the way that Parliament operates. Now, that's got to be, be a good thing because Māori are the tangata whenua, they are the base culture of the country. And superimposed on that is the Pākehā culture. So that's what it means to be bicultural, that the two cultures have to coexist and learn to share power in an equitable way. Mm -hmm.